Hi, I am here with Garrett Marshall, CEO of Fitness On Demand. How are you doing today, Garrett? I'm tired, but it's been <laughs> a really good day. There's a lot going on here at Ursa, right? Tons. How many years have you been coming? Uh, well, our business is only six years old, huh? so personally I've been here for at least eight or nine years, maybe ten. Uh, I think we've exhibited at five of the six shows since we were established. Can you tell us a little bit about Fitness On Demand? Sure. Um, so we're a six-year-old business, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, we create delivery products for fitness, media, and programming. Mm -hmm. So our mission is pretty simple. We want to make fitness as accessible as possible through the use of the best technology. Great. So what kind of products or technology are you presenting here at Ursa this year? Well, our big announcement this year is an overhaul to our group label, which is a product line that's designed for um, group training spaces, both small group zones and group fitness studios. What's the benefit to having fitness on demand in the studios and at the gyms? Uh, you know, I, I, there, there are a lot of benefits, like most of the products here. I think for us, if we break it down to one KPI, it's about uh, creating usage, driving better usage in the studio space and helping club operators make, um, uh, have, you know, uh, provide to more end users and make better use of that studio space. Right. What are some of the um, opportunities for innovation that you see in this space? Oh boy. Yeah, I, I think we will uh, continue to see improvements in system automation and process improvement. Uh -huh. And there are, in fact, some really neat companies here this year that are doing just that. Yeah. Um, I'm really keen on personal training. I think if you look at a lot of the other professional services that are outside of the fitness industry, you see that transformation happening. And I, I believe it's only a matter of time before you see that impact on the arena of training. And, um, you know, I always have to remind myself, I think we're very quick to combine innovation and technology, yeah. but they're actually different. So if I was to give you um, maybe one that wasn't technological in nature, I, I think uh, thriving club brands are going to continue to use programming, not always necessarily delivered through technology, but as the cost of membership continues to be commoditized, I think they'll use programming to create a point of difference. Yeah. Oh, I love it. A lot of information. Uh, what else can I ask you? Let's see. Are there any challenges that you face in the industry as, as it's continuing to grow and change? And how are you uh, approaching those challenges? Uh, you know, at the micro level for us, just through the lens of our business, I think one of the struggles for a lot of club operators is there are so many great ideas. Where do you start? So we have a lot of conversations at a very high level with the multi-site operators and the brands that we talk to that understand a mobile strategy is important, a digital strategy, a technology strategy, but there are so many ways you can do that. Yeah. So I, I think um, the, the opportunity sometimes is also the, the, the challenge. challenge. Right. Mm -hmm. um, at a macro level, I think, as an industry, there's such a spike in consumer um, health awareness, but not necessarily uh, a congruent acceleration in consumer health education. Yes. So again, a, a challenge is and an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. How are you educating your your clients and the people that are using fitness on demand? Or how are you getting this tool into the hands of the people? Yeah, I, a lot of it's through relationship building, which is why we're here, Yeah. right? Um, and, you know, fortunately, our product is one of the few in the industry, I think, or it, it's really hard to find any product, regardless of the industry, that, that offers more value to your customer and also helps them save money at the same time. Yeah. So, um, in, in a lot of ways, I think our product has told its own story, so we're the fortunate beneficiary of that. Cool. If you could sum up your experience at Ursa into one word, what would it be? Productive. Nice. And what's your favorite way to work out? Favorite way to work out? Um, Even with fitness, with fitness on demand, like what's your favorite type of exercise? The short and painless one. <laughs> <That's short. laughs> For me, it's I just getting Usually it if it's shorter, it's more painful. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That is true. <laughs> but like what? Give me an example. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty basic guy. I yeah. like to get the heart rate going. So yeah. it's, resistance and cardio. Perfect, easy. It's been such a pleasure talking with you. Where can we learn more about Fitness On Demand? Where we can direct people to learn more about the company? Uh, our website, fitnessondemand247.com. 247.com, remember that. Fitnessondemand247.com. Or don't forget by downloading our mobile app on, app on the App Store or on Google Play. Great, thank you so much for talking so with great. us. It was so nice thank meeting you. you.